two, one. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and I'm a volunteer with Ohlone Humane Society. This is our new program for Trap, Neuter, Return. It's community cat outreach. So we educate the community about how important it is to fix your community cats. A community cat is an unknown cat in the neighborhood. They could be lost, they could be stray, they could be tame, they could be untamed, which we consider social or unsocial, socialized or unsocialized. Regardless, community cats deserve a quality of life, so we believe in the humane method of trap, neuter, return. While they are at the vet and sedated, they are also checked for injuries and illnesses. They can get antibiotic shots and they can get a little bit more help as well. So what we have here is a live trap, a humane trap. This is a Tomahawk brand. There's many different kinds. What you do here is you lift up the door, pinching it. You put the lever right here and this is a trap that's ready to trap. So you put the bait here in the far side, you want it as far to the back of the trap as possible because you don't want the cat to just lean his neck forward and steal some snacks. So we want to make sure that we close and lock all doors so that it's very secure. When the cat is coming inside, he's going to step on the trip plate right here trying to get his food and our trap closes. As soon as your trap closes, it's very important to cover your trap. Kitty is very lost and he's very scared and we don't want him to hurt himself or be stressed. So we cover him right away and then he's ready to be transported to the vet or to your house for overnighting. A garage will work, a spare bedroom, a bathroom. They need to be warm after the surgery while they recover from anesthesia. You can put newspaper or a potty pad under them and I use what's called a trap fork. So it's this little piece of metal right here. We put it right through the bars and we separate the trap so the cat's over here and I can safely feed, clean, and still separate from the animal. The gloves are kind of just an extra. Now I take out my trap fork. Door is of course locked before that. And then you can move and clean the other side. It's very important to have the trap clean as the animal recovers from surgery. Now, depending on if the cat is male or female depends how long you need to overnight your cat, which is called post-operative post housing. So if it's a male cat, it's usually recommended 24 hours to recover from anesthesia. You're going to want to feed him. I recommend wet food. It's very hydrating. If it's a female cat, three days is recommended. Now, when you're time to release the cat, Every time your cat is not getting work done, you want him to cover, you want him relaxed. When you go to release your cat, you pull up the door and you step back and you uncover the trap and your cat is gone. And that's how he's returned to field is what we call returning the cats. Then you will be monitoring him, you will be feeding him and you will be maintaining your colony. If there's a new cat that comes, you need to trap them and fix them as soon as possible. Our goal is to minimize the population and to stabilize the population. We don't want the cats to breed. They can cause a lot of problems. They can fight. They can chase each other into the road. With a caretaker and with TNR, cats can live an almost normal lifespan. They can have a very good life with their family, which is called a colony, in their territory that they're very used to. Now you want to make sure that you are feeding your cats responsibly. It's recommended to do 30 minutes twice a day and to supervise from a distance and make sure that you know which cats are coming into your territory. For more information, you can visit our website, which is ohlonehumanesociety.org. Thank you.